Good evening. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Steve Powers. And today, confirmation of the largest single broadcast station transaction in history. It's part of an even bigger deal involving more than $2 billion and the sale of seven Metro Media stations, including this one, Channel 5, to media mogul Rupert Murdoch. Under the agreement confirmed today, the Hearst Corporation will buy Metro Media's television station in Boston for $450 million. And as Christopher Jones reports, the rest of the huge deal should be completed on Monday. Considering the size of the deal and its implications for the American communications business, today's announcement was remarkably low-key. But when Australian publishing magnate Rupert Murdoch walked into the Waldorf Tower suite with Metro Media chairman John Kluge, it was clear the deal was done, and the nation's largest independent television group was about to be a jewel in Murdoch's crown. The uh, deal as contemplated uh, would be that a partnership would be buying uh, these Metro Media stations, which is the same partnership as owns uh, 20th Century Fox, so it's Mr. Marvin Davis and my company, News Corporation. Metro Media Chairman John Kluge at 70 says he is selling his television stations to embark on what he calls a new career in telecommunications and cellular radio. Kluge admits he's gambling on the future, but says gambling gets his juices flowing, and security does not. At the same time, he insisted the sale was not an attempt to solve financial problems. The telecommunications business is an emerging business. Uh, it has, it's taking a great deal of capital. Uh, it is not that this company, as you might read, is under financial pressure. It isn't at all. Uh, it is a fact that we don't want to be mediocre in telecommunications and we don't want to be mediocre in, uh, in broadcasting. The deal calls for Murdoch to pay some $2 billion for all seven Metro Media television stations located in New York, Washington, Los Angeles, Dallas, Houston, Chicago, and Boston. But as part of the plan, the Hearst Corporation will immediately purchase the highly regarded Boston station, WCVB-TV, for $450 million, a purchase Hearst President Frank Benek called a great opportunity. And how long did that deal take? It was only one call to Frank, and we concluded this whole transaction in a matter of 15 minutes. So with the $450 million for Boston subtracted, Rupert Murdoch and American oil man Marvin Davis will use the same partnership that purchased 20th Century Fox Film Corporation to purchase the remaining six Metro Media stations for $1,550,000,000. Approximately $1.3 billion of Metro Media long-term debt will be picked up as part of that price. That still leaves Murdoch with some problems, notably FCC rules requiring anyone with his planned share of ownership of American television licenses to be an American. Have you considered uh, becoming an American citizen in order to make I've been this considering it for years. But this is... And I've uh, finally decided. You have not decided? I have, yes. You have decided to become an American no, citizen? Yes, absolutely. As for the other FCC rule that the owner of a newspaper cannot own more than 5% of a broadcast station in the same city, Murdoch did not rule out the possibility of further trades involving either his newspapers or his new television stations in New York and Chicago. What about your intentions uh, for the newspapers you own in some of the overlapping markets? Well, we're going to be looking into that, I'm saying. Uh, newspapers or, and or television uh, can apply either way. Does that mean you might spin off a television station back to its original owner? No. We may spin off one, but that's not decided. Are you and uh, we have to look at uh, you know, all our options there. And we expect that this will take some months to get through the FCC, and that beyond that, that we would certainly have a waiver of, we'll be applying for a waiver uh, for as long as possible, but that would certainly be in excess of a year in which we have time to consider all those options. Metro Media Chairman John Kluge and newspaper publisher Rupert Murdoch each described the other as a brilliant negotiator. Maybe they're both right. They did seem remarkably calm considering some $2 billion was involved. But it might also be because each got what he wanted. Kluge, the ability to enter a new field relatively debt-free, and Murdoch, already a powerful man in this country, the chance to become overnight a television mogul and be even more powerful than he already is. Christopher Jones, Channel 5 News, in New York.